This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. We are at a red light, traffic light, and uh, we're in Staines. We're about a mile away from our uh, delivery destination. We've got a load of mesh on the trailer, which we got loaded from Bootle last night. Now, we were supposed to get this delivered last night, uh, slash yesterday afternoon, but um, we got caught in traffic on the M6 coming down, which meant we needed to stop for a break, a 45 minute break, because we wouldn't have had enough time. And that then, therefore, meant I wouldn't have got here before four o'clock, which is the cutoff time. So unfortunately, um, because of the traffic on the way down on the M6, we had to uh, have a break and then we couldn't get this delivered yesterday. So we're delivering it today instead. So it's not the end of the world because it does actually say on the delivery paperwork that I've got that it is scheduled for delivery today. So, um, you know, it's not the end of the world anyway, but never mind. It would have been nice to get it off yesterday. So yeah, we're just pretty much around the corner now. I don't have a clue what we're doing from here. No idea whatsoever we could be sent anywhere. So yeah, there's not much point guessing. Although the heavens have opened. It's a little bit rainy today. So I'm hoping wherever we're going, um, we're loading with something which doesn't involve me having to stay outside too much so I can stay inside in the dry. So yeah, I mean, we could literally be sent anywhere from here. We could be sent to Tilbury Docks. We could be sent to Sheerness. Shoreham, like, could be sent anywhere, could be sent back to the yard, anywhere at all. If I were to guess, I would say probably two docks from here, if anything, but, I mean, it's still quite far away. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it could be, it could be anywhere. We've not done any H&H &H blocks for a while. This car is obviously going to go left where I'm going as well, here. Yes, he is, because they've just gone all the way around the roundabout. You can't make a right turn here, so... That's the only thing that really made sense. Right, let's go left down here. I think it's half term, isn't it? So there'll be no one dropping off at this school today. No one uh, dropping them off later. What time does it start? Normally it's like half eight, nine o'clock school, isn't it? So there is a chance when we come out of here, um, if the kids are in school, then there could be a chance that there's a lot of vehicles there later, but we'll see when we come out. My kids are on hard terms, so I'm assuming these will be as well. So normally when I come here, I'm told to get here for eight o'clock, or have been in the past anyway. I mean, it is my right of way. I've been told to get here for eight o'clock in the past, so um, it's half past seven now. So we are, as far as I'm concerned, uh, early. All right, so we are in. I don't know as of yet if there's anyone else in here. Um, hopefully not. Get around the corner and we will find out. Normally they forklift it off in front of a building. So we're going to park up right in front, literally on the right hand side. And then uh, that's where they offload us. Mesh is on the left. Happy days. Lovely jubbly. So I'm going to put a high vis on and start taking off the straps. Like I said, it's a bit, it's a bit rainy. I thought someone was coming over to me then. Yeah, it's a bit rainy, so uh, we don't want to be out too long. Let's go and get it. I'll see you in a bit. <coughs> Bless me. Anyway, yeah, we're outside now. Um, uh, the rain's not too bad, so. Not too bad. This is the load that we have on. Let's go on the other side, we're going to take all the ratchets off. Okay, so that's all the ratchets taken off on this side. Um, we're going to go around now and take off all the straps, wind them all up and put them away. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, this is just, it's one of those sites where I've just, I've been to so many times now. Sometimes you can be here for an hour, sometimes it can be two hours, you never know. You just take it as it comes. Like I said, we don't actually know what we're doing next, so. One of them where I am not rushing in the slightest. It gets done when it gets done. Even if all my straps are off right now, 
they're doing something else at the moment, so they wouldn't tip me anyway, so. They get these off in a, a nice, steady fashion. Right, that's all the straps off, last one to put away. And we've been really lucky, actually. Um, it hasn't rained. Well, it stopped raining completely and it hasn't started back up again since we've been here. So if it stays like that for the rest of the day, we'll, uh, it'll be bang tidy like. Anyway, we're just, uh, we're just sitting here now waiting to be loaded. Uh, sorry, unloaded. Right, we've just been told to head back to Swindon. We've got to go to uh, Marks and Spencer's um, in South Marston Industrial Estate. I don't know what we're picking up, but I know it's going to EMR and Swindon, which is a place where I've been told I'm not allowed to film. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do in this video. I might um, film me going. I could film me going to Swindon to Marks and Spencer's. No problem. Maybe film what I've got on the trailer, but I can't film in EMR. As far as I'm aware. Um, so, well, they've, they've actually asked me to remove a video once whilst I was on site. So, no filming on site. So that's fair enough. But in between, that's that's fair game. But um, yeah, so we're still being tipped here in Staines. Um, the time currently is I don't know because my watch isn't on. Um, <laughs> but um, what time is it? Right. Okay. So the time is eight o'clock. Um, we've only been here sort of just over half an hour so we'll probably be here for another hour or so and then um, we'll make our way over there we'll probably be, be there for like maybe half ten-ish and um, yeah lovely I'm going to assume it's always wrong to assume I'm going to assume that means I'm home today um, but we'll see I'll, I'll, do, I'll get as much as I can in this video if it means I'm going to record over two days and so be it um, but yeah I'll, um, I'll see you when we're empty and we're about to leave We have a train! We're um, still here waiting to be offloaded. Oh. Right, we're tipped. Just need to reverse. We need him to get the, uh, we need him to sign the paperwork as well still. <laughs> Lovely, cheers mate. Much. Get him to go forward a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing, right? Yeah, not bad. How are you? Yeah? Cheers mate. Um, he, that bloke just recognised me off of TikTok. <laughs> um, right. We're tipped. We're going to head back to Swindon. and uh, go and get loaded with whatever we've got to get loaded with. Um, like I said, it's going to um, EMR Swindon, which is a recycling centre. And uh, one of the last times I was doing some work there, I uploaded something and uh, they asked me to remove it. So rightfully so, I removed it. You know, I've always said that, I remove any content that's asked. Um, but obviously that would mean that in the future I can't record anything either. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to record once we get there. But I'm hoping to show you what we've got on at least, which is what's been recycled. Um, I would imagine it's something metal-wise. Normally we go to places like Marks and Spencer and it'd be like... Or, or um, Waitrose or something like that. And it'd be like pallets I'm loading with. It won't be pallets we're recycling. Because EMR Swindon is a, is a scrap metal recycling place. It's not a timber recycling place. Do you know what I mean? So it's gonna be something metal. What it is exactly is uh well beyond me. I have no idea. That car wants to come down here but can't now he can now that I'm out. So yeah we're gonna um crack on to Swindon. I need to put the mid lift axle up and um I will see you when we get there. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Lovely. I wonder what we're picking up. It's 
it's got to be something metal. Cages, perhaps? Could be cages. Ugh, if it's on wheels, that's going to be awkward. We've only got to go around the corner, but still. On wheels is going to be awkward. Just thought of that. Hopefully it's not. Um, but yeah, anyway, here's B&Q. Um, I thought we'd be coming from the right-hand side, but we're not. Got my uh, roundabouts confused. So we're going straight over at this roundabout. All clear. No, the next one will be turning right. The rain has started to rain again. Nice. Okay, and then it's a left here. It does say DHL. It said DHL on um, on the maps as well, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's M&S trailers in here, so I'm pretty sure it's DHL working on behalf of M&S. I oh, was just one of those security huts where I've got to get out and walk to it. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. We shall park up here and then walk to the gate there. See what they've got to say. That means I've got to put tigers on before I get out. Right, we are in and we know what we're getting. It's so, um, three long lengths of like aluminium or something. There's a car parked in the way at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we just got to wait until the car moves and then um, take it from there. Right, we're just waiting for this car to move so they can get this. Just all this scrap metal. Um, so it'll go on the trailer, pretty much as it is now actually, I think. And then we just whack straps over it. We've uh, gone through it and made sure anything loose is, is thrown, off, uh, thrown away. Everything on it at the moment is attached, so not too bad. But there was some stuff that was not attached, so I've kicked it off and thrown it over here. Don't want anything loose. That hard out was not there before. <laughs> like for example, those big bolts were on it. If they were to fall off, they would literally smash a windscreen. Anyway, this car's on the way. Ten minutes, he said, they'd be down, so we've got to wait. Right, we are loaded. Let me show you the load. There we go. We estimate it's about six tons, so it's not an awful lot. Use four straps. Plenty of straps to hold it. Let's get going. Let's go. I'm going slowly. The barrier is up. But I'm going slowly in case anyone tells me we to stop. Barrier is up, so I'm gone. <laughs> right. We're still not on public land yet, so uh, seatbelt doesn't have to be on, but we're putting it on now. Hazards off, beacons off. So yeah, we are, we're literally just going three miles down the road, so we're not going far with it at all. We've got three, um, like, lengths of unit. They said they were lorry loaders, whatever that means. Um, so presumably they had, like, a conveyor belt on or something and loaded a lorry up with something or other, I don't know. But there's three of them. They weigh about two tonne each, so six tonne in total. I've got four five-ton straps, so it's 20 tonnes worth of restraint on a six tonne load, so I would say that's plenty. Could probably get away with like, well, I wouldn't say two, you could probably get away with three straps, but I thought I'd go for an extra one just to be safe. Um, if you feel like it needs an extra one, put an extra one on, no matter what. Peace of mind, isn't it? Um, yeah, it shouldn't go. We made sure we picked up all the rubbish that was on it because it was covered in like nuts and bolts where they've obviously undone it all and then just left all the bolts on the units themselves and nuts and random pieces of metal which were half hanging off. So some of them I've had to sort of bend and then put back on so then it's like pressured so it doesn't move. And one of them has an arm, sort of what I would call an arm, which isn't quite attached, but the straps are holding it in. So it's like, yeah, you just have to be careful. Because like I said, one of those bolts, it looked quite small on camera, but it was actually quite a thick bolt thicker than your normal household bolt that's for sure and if it would fall off the trailer and uh, like bounce onto an uncommon vehicle not only would it smash the window it might even go all the way through you never know so it's just all about being safe isn't it 
all about being safe. Um, anyway, should we get this off by 12? I ain't got a clue what we're doing for the rest of the day. Um, I imagine we've got to go get loaded somewhere, I would have thought. Um, yeah, no idea. I'm hoping, actually, that I'm pretty sure they said there's some work on at BMW Mini, which is another place I can't film at, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going there, loading up ready for tomorrow, I would have thought. Um, or maybe even deliver today, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, could be a case of loading at BMW Mini and delivering today in um, uh, Telford. Not Telford, Tamworth. That's it. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on. This is going to sound incredibly weird, <laughs> but if I indicate left, you know, like, you don't put it all the way down, you just push it down a little bit, it sort of clicks itself three times by itself, doesn't it? Well, I, I thought it always did it five times, but it turns out if you're going 30 miles an hour, it only does it three times, but on the motorway, I do it five times. There's a bit of a, a nerdy fact there with the IV code, which I've just figured out. Like, if you indicate right to go over this roundabout, yeah, it did three clicks. But if I'm on the mo motorway and I do it, or on A road and I'm going like 55, 56, then it will click five times. Bit of a bit of a nerdy one, that is. <laughs> Don't know why, but I, I quite like this roundabout in an Arctic because it's quite undulating. You've got to take it nice and wide to get your trail around. I, mean, I don't know whether the camera can put, make it out, but it really does undulate. <laughs> Come on, the wheel. I don't know what that scraping sound was. I'm going to assume it's the trailer on the undulating bit, rubbing on the wheel guard. Oh, we've got a bit of a queue. It's not often you get a queue. Anyway, I'm going to go because literally we go over this bridge and then we're on site and I can't film on site. So uh, I'm going to go get this tipped off, get it recycled, get a paperwork signed. And uh, hopefully we know where we're going from there because as of right now, I do not know what we're doing next. If I had to guess, I would say it'd be popping into BMW Mini next door if I had to guess. Anyway, I've seen a bit. Okay, so I was right. We are now going into BMW Mini. I'm not allowed to film inside there. And again, we're going to another EMR place. I'm not allowed to film inside that place either, but I can film um, from A to B. So I'll do that and uh, show you exactly what we've got on board as well, because it'd be a, a load more sort of recycling stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go get loaded. I'll see you in a little bit. Right, you join me in Tamworth. We are loaded with a load of steel. I'm not entirely sure if I can show you. I think I can, but I'm inside the place now where I can't film, so I can't film outside. Filming inside the truck, as far as I'm concerned, it's fine, because it's my home, essentially. Um, so yeah, we got loaded in Swindon. We're now in Tamworth with this load. Um, I don't know where we're going from here. I think it might be back to the yard, but I mean, if we left now, we won't get there till six and there's a bit of a queue in here. So we probably won't get back until like gone seven, but never mind. And I think he said something about tomorrow being on PTL stuff. So that's the toilets, festival work. So that'd be cool. Don't know where we're going, but um, yeah. I have to wait and see on that one. But yeah, for now, we're just going to wait here, get unloaded when we can, and then uh, I'll see you when we leave, probably in an hour or two. <laughs> we are tipped, and uh, we know where we are going next. We're going to Harlow, um, sort of north of London. But from here, um, I think the way we're going to go is via Milton Keynes and... Uh, yeah, Northampton, Milton Keynes, that sort of area. So, we'll be a night out tonight. Otherwise, if we were passing Swindon, then obviously we'd go back to the yard, but we're not passing Swindon, so... It's going to be a case of... Wheel spinach? <laughs> it's going to be a case of um, heading towards Milton Keynes. That's where I'm going to park up for tonight. And then um, we will resume in the morning. And then tomorrow, I think, it'll probably be a case of picking that up and bringing it to Swindon and then Swindon BMW again and do this run what I just did, so... I think, I think that will, will be what it is. Um, if I do include any footage from tomorrow, it'll just be on my phone and then it just, I'll pop it on the end of this video, just so there's some extra content. How about that? Yeah, I probably will, probably will just do that. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you when we park up for the night. I think, like I said, I think I'm going to go to Milton Keynes and park up there. Um, but if it changes, then, uh, then I'll obviously show you where I am parked instead. I don't want to park in any services tonight. I parked in services last night, so... I don't want to keep parking in services. I cost them many. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we're tipped. We're leaving. I will see you in a little while. See you in a bit. 
Right, you join me in Milton Keynes. I've um, I've chosen Milton Keynes to stop because it's um, it's just off the M1. It's nice and quiet. I haven't got to pay for services because um, yeah, if we go to services, we've got to pay for them ourselves. Um, and it's not really too many miles off route, so and it's quiet where I'm going to stop as well. You just cut a written, and it was technically amber. I'll let you off. <laughs> um, so we're going to go to a place that I have parked at many times before in the past, but admittedly not for a while. So we'll see what that's like. Um, and then we need to get fuel in the morning. So we've got a quarter of a tank now. We're going to park up on quarter of a tank. I was going to fill up with fuel before I parked up, but I thought now I'm going to risk it just in case. Because you never know, you might get your fuel nicked. So um, yeah, I thought I'd, I'm not going to fill up with fuel tonight. I'll fill up in the morning. I'll wake up a little bit earlier and fill up um, tomorrow, basically, on the uh, on the way to my next delivery. That is what I'm going to do. So this place we're parking at, normally, well, what I have done in the past is, is I drive in and then turn left and spin around on a, a quite a tight roundabout, actually, to be honest with you. Um, but it's a risky manoeuvre because if there's any cars parked on that route, it's like almost like a private roundabout. If there's any cars parked on it, you won't get round. So what I'm thinking of doing is going around the long way and then I can reverse in off the road if need be. Hopefully it's quiet enough. So, um, yeah, there's a lorry parked here, look. We could just park on this road because this road itself is quiet from what I've seen. But the other road is even quieter. We've got quite a late start tomorrow. So if I can get away with parking on an even quieter road, then uh, the bonus. Right, there is a car coming behind. So we are going to have to put our hazards on. Is it still coming? It is. And there's a bloody lorry coming down as well. Typical. We want to turn right down here. Yeah, so there's no one down there, that's where we want to go, but I don't want to risk it and drive it and then get stuck, so I'm going to reverse it off the road. Just waiting for this car to go past. Right, now we can reverse it off the road. Nothing coming. Still nothing coming. We can quickly get in before anything comes. Nothing coming. Oh, there's a car there now. Gonna rush for the car to go past. Lovely. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna go back. Keep going back. Yeah. I'm, uh, just going to park forward, leave enough room for this gate. Only cars are going to go in here by the looks of it, so that's all right. I'll just park up here on the left. Lovely. Just make sure we're not on those double yellows. Where do they end? There we go. Just, there's no excuse then for, for me to get a ticket because <laughs> I'm not on the double yellows. There's no yellow lines here at all. So, Yes, this is going to be um, home for the night. Um, it's literally 10 past 6 in the evening. Um, and it's really lovely because it's nice and bright still. It's still sunny out. I hate it when it's dark. Like this time normally, a few months ago, it would be pitch black. I love it when it's light and nice like this. Now the downside is there's not really anything around here, nothing to do, nothing to see. There's a golf course around the corner. <laughs> Imagine I go play golf. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're um, we're done for today. Um, we're half an hour away from the fuel station in the morning, so that's good. It gives us a chance to uh, warm the engine up before we get there, burn half an hour's worth of diesel. And then in our final delivery place is an hour and a half away. Sorry, collection place is an hour and a half away. 
So what I want to do, so it's an hour and a half total, plus I need to give me chance to get fuel and traffic. So I need to give myself at least two hours leeway. Now I've been told to get there no earlier than 9 a.m. So I'm going to leave here no later than 7 a.m., which is nice late start. So I'll probably get up around about half past six, 20 to seven, do my checks, and then, um, yeah, crack on for 7 a.m., get fuel, hopefully get there around about nine. He did say between nine and half nine, so... Um, but I said, I'll get there around about nine o'clock. He said, all right. But I can't imagine I'm going to get loaded until half nine anyway. He said something about a tanker turning up. I don't know. So, yeah, um, that's it for uh, for today. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably see you in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I decided to go for a walk. I uh trouble with being six foot three. <laughs> Trees are a bit too low. Um, yeah, so we're parked up there. I got some rubbish. I'm just trying to find a bin. Go for a walk and try and find a bin to throw it in. Plus, get a little bit of exercise at the same time, innit? Like, I know it's cheeky, but, you know, there's bins over there. And I'm sure, I'm sure people would rather just put my rubbish in the bin than throw out a window. So, apologies if you're the business owner. In fact, I think you're BMI. Yeah, you are. I do a lot of work for BMI, so uh, don't be mad with me. <laughs> Actually, the bin I was going to use is locked. So, uh, but I just found it all here, so there we go. See, this is the good thing about going for a walk. I just found like a little park. I'm going to go for a walk around there, but like I've literally just parked over there. Go for a walk. Some runners have just walked past. Well, run past rather. <laughs> There's a path here, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for a nice stroll on the path and then when we're ready, go back. I've just found a, a burnt out car down there. <gasps> a bike. Should we rent a bike? Nah. Nah, we're not gonna rent a bike. Welcome to Milton Keynes. <laughs> There's a bike here. Now, I can't actually be that long because, oh, hang on. Yeah, so Uber Eats. Courier will be picking up your order shortly. <laughs> Just ordered an Uber Eats from Co-op. I got a uh, sweet and sour chicken and egg fried rice on its way. And I also needed some uh, AAA batteries for my remote control for my TV. Uh, they've died. So, uh, got some batteries and some uh, sweet and sour chicken on its way. It says it'll be a by 18.50, so uh, I've got a bit of time. Should we go check out the car? Oh dear. That's uh, it's destroyed. One for Kev T, I think. But yeah, the ground's a bit soft here. Uh, decided to carry on walking over here. Looks like I can do a big circle, so. Get some exercise in rather than sitting in your truck. If it was night time, I'd 100% stay in the truck, but been in it all day, still nice out, so yeah. Oh man, like just come from down there. Hang on, no, I've come from down there, got that down there, that there, that there, got loads of places to go. We're gonna go this way because uh, it go round back to where we started over there. Yeah, yes, I'm out of breath. That's why, that's why I'm going for walks, to try and lose weight. Don't hate on me. <laughs> okay, gotta get going now because <laughs> Uber Eats is on its way. It says they got one more delivery before me. So it just says ETA, uh, 1910, but could be here as early as 1845, which is in 10 minutes, so. We'll start walking back, get back to the track, but it's been a nice walk. Been a nice walk. A short walk, but a nice walk. Ah, uh, Sauna has my delivery and it's on her way. I've had pictures of, uh, of women supposedly delivering it to me in the past, and it turns out to be blokes. <laughs> I, like, I can't help but think, is it like a, some sort of catfish? <laughs> 
right, it says she's eight minutes away. We're a four minute walk away from the truck, so let's get going. <laughs> Gotta get there before she turns up, or he. Guarantee it's a he. We made it. According to the app, she's uh, four minutes away, so should be rocking up behind me any time now. Should be coming around now, yes, Jaguar XF. That's her. Hello. Hi, thank you. Yeah, not bad, you. Thank you very much. Uh, right, it has arrived. I also got some uh, Lucasade as well. Lucasade. Lucasade should have three of them. Two of these. Because it's two for six pound. And some batteries. Some batteries for my uh, controllers. Seeing as they decided, well, only one of them decided. This one decided to go uh, flat, so I changed them over. Lovely. Hang on the bin. So yeah, uh, obviously I've got a microwave so I can um, heat things up if I want to, which I will obviously. And uh, I also bought one of these from Amazon, it's really handy. It's like a, a camping kit, but it's metal. There you go. So you get like cutlery, which I've not put away properly. Some, uh, some plates. Comes in very handy when uh, having microwavable food, so is uh, come in handy. Anyway, let's get this on and uh, have some food. That really is going to be uh, the end, <laughs> the end for today. I'm going to put some TV on and um, yeah, eat my dinner, watch some TV, and then go to bed. So I'll uh, I'll see you in the morning. Right, hello everybody. It's the next morning, um, and we are getting loaded with toilets. Well, actually, to be honest with you, at the moment it's. Um, tanks to store the stuff in but I think the toilets are going on next. Uh, the way in which we um, put these on, or strap them up at least, is we do them under the bottom, one there, one there, pulling in both directions. So that's six straps for those so far. And then I think we've got, you'll see these over there, he's grabbing some of these which are disabled ones and they're going to go on the back end. So yeah, ordinarily I would have probably have started a new vlog and did this um, in a new video, but I know that later I'm going to be doing um, a BMW to Kingsbury, which is what we did earlier on in this video, but I'm not allowed to film at either place, so it's like, what's the point in starting a new video for the day if I can't actually show you anything? <laughs> Especially if it's the same as the last video, so um, yeah, we're just gonna leave it like this and uh, include this footage in at the end of this video and then just bonus material, isn't it? <laughs> Right, we are loaded. I thought I would um, film myself leaving this site because it was quite interesting getting in. Some S-shaped manoeuvres and tight turns. On one of them I had to uh, go on the grass. But obviously it is what it is. Now we're going to attempt to do this in one go to get out, but if not I can hopefully reverse. I don't think we're going to do it in one go. Not a lot of snapping the airlines. Oh, what do? Yeah, we got it. We got it. We're out of here. Give the old horn a blast and everyone gets out of the way for you as well. Lovely. Yeah, so um, to get in here, it's not tight, it's just a little bit snug. And we've got to go through a car park. There's a lorry coming down by the looks of it. Low loader, exactly where we need to be. So that could be interesting in a second. But there isn't really anywhere, there's no parsons places on this little stretch that I'm on. No parsons places at all. 
We don't want to be going on, on any of this grass, not really, because it looks really, really soft. Okay, that low loader is on the main road by the looks of it, that's good. So we had to go on this grass over here to get in, the bit in front of me on the right. And we'll uh, most likely have to go over it again to get out. I'll try our best not to, but I think it's going to be inevitable. The trailer's just going to cut in. Oh no, no it's going to go. we haven't gone on it, that's good. Nice wide turn for this bit. So there's literally cars. We literally drove for a car park. Nice. And yeah, we've, we're going out the way you go in because we just can't go out the other way. It's too, uh, it's too tight. Before we go on the main road, put our seat back on. Barry on the right as well, got to be careful of. So I'll come in. Clear on the left. We've got public cars on the right. This is going to be snug. We're going to have to go on the path a little bit to get out. The overswing on the front of the trailer is very close to the car on the left. Okay, we missed it. Right, or left, sorry. There we go, right, we're out. We are out. I haven't got where we're going, set in the sand have. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we come from the left. Are we turning left here? I can't remember. Lots of tyre marks on the ground would indicate so. No, it's the next left. Okay, good job I didn't go down there. Yes, yeah, I remember that was a roundabout. <laughs> that was a housing estate on the left. If we went down there, they would have been reversed back out. Couldn't remember exactly what left we took. Right. So yeah, um, it's nice to be back on the PTR work. Long time viewers of my channel will uh, will know, will have seen this sort of stuff before. We do a lot of event work for them. Hopefully we're doing more this year as well. I just asked them, the next one is badminton. Um, so um, it'd be nice to be on that as well. Nice little runs up and down normally the country. A lot of London work as well, Hyde Park, etc., Victoria Park. So if we are on that um, stuff again this year, that'd be nice. But um, yeah, it's nice to see the guys. We've been working for them now for about three years, four years. Um, yeah, nice bunch of guys, PTL. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Like I said, because I couldn't really show anything yesterday where I was loading from and delivering to, I thought I'd just include this bit as like a little bit of extra footage. Plus, um, what, we, what we did yesterday is what we're doing next, I'm assuming. I haven't actually technically been told yet, but I would assume that's what I'm doing. So, um, I would normally, <laughs> this would be a different video, a new vlog, but there's no point because I'd just be showing nothing again. So, I'll include this in this video and then I'll sort something out for another video on another day. I think I'm doing the same stuff for the rest of the week, I think. But yeah, man, it is what it is. So, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching this. Uh, don't forget to give me a, a, a like and a, and a subscribe and a cheap comment and all that sort of stuff. Really trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out as well. And uh, if you've got any feedback for me, let me know. Leave your questions down below. And... Um, yeah, man, if, if there's anything you like, think should be changed, then I'll try to change it. I'm always open to, uh, to criticism. I know people don't like criticism. I don't necessarily like criticism, but I'm also open to receiving it. So any comments, let me know in the, uh, in the conversation down below. Anyway, I'm off. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.